So this video is sponsored by Bityard, a crypto exchange with 9 out of 10 stars by the Coin Bureau guy, 400 cryptos to choose from from their spot exchange, derivatives that include commodities, forex and traditional markets, as well as inverse perpetual coin futures, USDT perpetual futures and leveraged tokens. You can even set up a copy trading account so people can copy your trades and you earn commission on those trades, or you can follow other traders who have better results than you. Set an account up with a link in the description and get mystery box bonuses for completing random tasks. Bit yard. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at Chainlink. So we're going to look at Chainlink today. Um, not that I'm expecting anything amazing from it in the short term. It's held up quite well since the capitulation low. Now there was only two altcoins that I bought on that big dump down. Uh, one being Chainlink, and the other one being Algorand. I've got plans for both. The reason I bought Algorand at about 35 cents was because I'd li I like the idea that I can hold Algorand and in a few years time the amount that I've bought and the amount that I've accumulated down at this low level specifically um, can generate me what the dream would be, passive income. Staking rewards are okay. They're released on a daily basis on Coinbase. I can release those at any time. And um, let's just imagine that uh, two to three years down the line, the amount that I've got is able to give me effective a, a, like a daily a daily wage really uh, and I can I could more or less live off what I've got considering how much I bought so that's one aspect to, to I can't do that now it's not it's not generating me that that passive income to remain comfortable and down the line it will so that's why I bought that there's a plan involved and it, and it also includes Algorand going up and holding a certain value staking rewards being released on a daily basis uh, keeping me warm in my bed uh, the next one was obviously Chainlink and the reason for Chainlink is because it's always had a decent run uh, uh, as far as its um, uh, chart is concerned so a constant higher highs higher lows right up until the parabolic pop uh, and then it's basically been in decline ever since now coming down to this level here this uh, is basically around five dollars um, it comes back to just front running its previous two peaks over here it's a very significant area it was front run so my area that i bought when i saw this low i thought i'm gonna have to bite the bullet it's roughly about six dollars and my exit point is probably you know i am probably going to be holding on to this for a, a prolonged period of time i expect it to eventually reach a hundred dollars over time now that might seem unrealistic to many at this point in the market and i'm not saying it's going to go to a hundred dollars tomorrow but holding on to something like chain link in what could just be maybe a, a year or two period could end up being that kind of re return and again you know patience uh, is is very rewarding uh, in, in crypto so it's not a, a quick term trade but it's still done all right it's still it's still up uh, you know de a decent amount but i'm not yeah this is nothing yeah i'm not really considering this as anything it's just part of the plan uh, unfolding now the bitcoin chart and the um and the uh, the usdt chart both have pros and cons to them now in the short term we're going to look at the uh, the, the 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 bitcoin pair we're heading towards a, a turnaround here for uh, momentum, uh, building the momentum to form a golden cross. Now, the golden cross is almost in the bag when it comes to a simple moving average. That's most likely going to happen between today and tomorrow. This uh, yellow cross in this purple, that's a golden cross for simple moving averages. Now, my preference is always going to be the uh, the green and the white, which is your exponentials. It looks like we're likely, quite likely to get those in the bag. And remember, this is a four hourly chart, so we can dump. It's also a Bitcoin pair as well. Currently don't have bearish divergence on the RSI we might start to see that at some point soon so the next leg up on this one even after a golden cross is likely to lead to a dump back down but that's no big deal remember we're in this for the long run so anyone who wants to pick up chain link I'm pretty sure you'll get the opportunity to do that yes this is a bullish setup it's a nice looking chart but normally you get a decent retest of these uh, moving averages once the cross has been forged and again with the RSI being you know reasonably high not massively high that at some point down the line over the next week or so it's likely to print uh, bearish divergence if we continue to go up which i think that we probably will and um, the only the only thing that's going to stop this obviously is going to be bitcoin dumping down to those lower levels that we've marked off yesterday so between 22 and 25,000, where the bottom is almost certainly going to be printed around those levels so that is uh, the only uh, the, the only fear when it comes to a chart like this but you can see that uh, you know since that capitulation low it's outperformed bitcoin to a decent extent so from the low to the high it's a 32 percent move up versus its bitcoin pair and obviously that's going to have outperformed um, uh, a lot of other alts now i do have a theory which is one of the reasons i bought into both of those um those those coins that i've mentioned algorand and, and Chainlink. You know, my theory is that uh, in the in the short to mid term when it comes to altcoins the old you know reasonably trusted 
coins and blockchains are the ones that are going to gauge most attention at the moment because in a bear market or in a downtrend or in uh, in times like this where people are risk off they're not going to take wild speculations on basically things that are still printing off roadmaps and haven't achieved anything you know there is obviously lots of money to be made in the in things like that and we can enter into things like that when the market's more favorable to do so so i'm talking about the vast majority of things on the smaller exchanges you know qcoin and things with with low volume you can see that chain has obviously got an enormous volume it's been around for a long time and it even outperformed bitcoin uh, in the bear market of uh, 2018 which is a pretty impressive thing I never really saw anything uh, quite like it at the time so uh, 2017 bubble pop and effectively continue to uh, make higher highs and higher lows all the way into the bull market and beyond and formed its own bubble pop of its own to which it's been consolidating from ever since now this chart on the weekly is not bullish it's not yes you know let's not uh, kid ourselves not a bullish weekly chart certainly not in fact this continues to be bearish it's still a bearish chart but there are telltale signs that this is actually going to start to uh, dig itself out from underneath the the weight of this bitcoin pair um, and uh, the, uh, the the signs are three daily divergence uh, on all of the oscillators again with daily momentum building and the four hourly about to change into a bullish formation really on the charts now we turn on the itchy clouds as well we can have another little look at any particular uh, levels of interest where things get uh, particularly uh, tasty. So on the daily, we're still below the cloud, nothing to entertain there. It's going to take months, I would imagine, for this to really pick up a, a massive uh, a buy signal. And we'd have to be above 3,000 sats in order to do that. And that's not a big problem, like I say. We're not looking for this to turn around anytime soon. Three daily deep under under the uh, the weight of that uh, that that cloud again with all the other um time frames as well but if we move it to the four hourly we're actually above the cloud and we got our buy signal generated when we closed above the cloud for the first time um now that if you would have played that signal from this candle body open here to where we are right now that's yielded a 15 percent and obviously a 20 to the top and i think it's probably like to have continuation even though that this isn't a continuation type signal this is a pump signal and it's got the pump signal I think with the way that the moving averages are shaping up, diverging and getting in the right positions, it's likely to have continuation. So we can transfer all of that over to the tether pair. And we've got the same kind of vibes going on in the tether pair. Uh, we're above the 200 exponential at the moment. We've come down uh, overnight to retest that. That's kind of a bullish retest. If it can hold, that would be excellent. And we can start to have this next move up maybe already on, on the next retest of uh, $8.25. Again, yeah, this isn't a short-term position. This is a, an entry of a lifetime, I would say, uh, for something like Chainlink. Now, Chainlink, for anyone who knows, this was the big daddy back in 2019. Everyone absolutely loved it. It became very popular. It was almost like the ADA of 2021. Everybody wanted a piece of it, and then it kind of died a death. I wouldn't say it died. I think it was just overvalued for what it was, and then the altcoin market really took off, and people were just basically buying piles of shit and hoping for the best. And I think now, like I say, with my theory being is that, that old, trusted, long standing charts uh you know reasonably top cap are the ones that are going to gain the most attraction because you know, people want to uh, branch outside of bitcoin outside of ethereum even uh, but they don't want to stray too far from the nest in the fear that the big bad bear is going to swallow them whole and leave them with a 95 percent uh, um, uh, um, pullback basically after their entry point and again i can completely agree with that kind of um, that thought process so yeah chain link is definitely uh, what i would consider buying it at that price that i did and probably even down at these low levels now probably an opportunity of a lifetime but your exit point is certainly uh, you know a year to two to three down the line and again, like I say, it's, it's difficult for people to recognize how these charts can turn around, but they will. And if we think about this on a horizontal time frame, we've effectively come back to close enough to square one. Uh, this is more than a fair value uh, between five and maybe even nine dollars, uh, really, uh, for what is likely to eventually uh, turn into a decent uptrend back up to its previous all-time high and then beyond you know when people see these things like all-time highs and go oh it'll never get back up there yeah it'll be a slog to get back up to those levels but once you get to these levels all you need is another 100 percent move from here just a hundred percent move to get yourself to 100 another hundred percent move from there 200 this is how things go parabolic and if you look at a chart like this uh, over a longer period it seems pretty reasonable to expect that that is the type of uh, uh, the type of direction it's heading in and the type of um, uh, structure that it's already formed 
if only HyperTrader would show you, uh, we could all uh, we could all marvel at that. So again, I'm not suggesting it's the best thing in the world. I'm sure your fundamental analysis out there who really knows what they're doing rather than just speculating will find something that will do yield thousands of percent. But uh, outside of the thousands of percent, if you're looking for a decent investment like I was, you know, buying at these particularly low levels and, and holding on for back, basically back up to the all-time high and beyond, I think it's a decent call, to be honest with you. It's shown that it's always uh, been a good bet versus its Bitcoin pair. Um, consistent uptrends, in the, even in a downtrend, you know, a market downtrend. So, there you go. There's your chain link for you. Uh, I can do some more videos on other coins if you're if you're very uh, you know particular about what you want me to look at. I'm not. There's no point in looking at absolute piles of shit. Uh, but if you want to leave comments in the in the description, we can have a look at uh, some other altcoins. If of course there's something worthy of of talking about. But uh, I am looking for things of reasonable stature at this point if we're going to talk about altcoins. And uh, they have to at least have some decent trading volume and a decent market cap and, 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 and some kind of working blockchain that's being, um, that's being uh, adopted to a, to a decent extent. That's the only things I'll be looking to buy during this period in the market. Unless, of course, it's a quick scalpy trade uh, and that will be based on TA. Right, so there you go. There's your chain link. Gets the green light. Working okay. So far, so good. Lovely jubbly. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.